What's going on, guys? It's your boy Gizzy here. Super Bowl Sunday over here with Black and Yellow over here. I'm about to go to uh, get together, have a good time. Uh, but before that, I wanted to give you out my my information. Uh, you can call me at 973-440-8661. Um, call, call me Gizzy. I'm from Financial Chemotherapy, as any of you know. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how to rebuild credit after you've been incarcerated. I get a lot of phone calls from people in D.C., people in North Carolina, people in uh, Texas, California, uh, Chicago that have been incarcerated. The minimum year that they've been incarcerated is six years to 12 years. A lot of times they never build credit, and a lot of times I'm able to, you know, educate them and let them know how they could get back on track to rebuilding a score and having a credit score. A lot of people that call me too come out of jail and you know these are business people. Um, they want to put businesses and everything and you know get vehicles. They want to get your life back together. Which is you know with, with your credit, especially if you don't have anything on your credit, it's very simple. I just want you to be positive about it because things can be done. Okay. So what happens when you come out of jail, especially if you've been in the system since you were 19? You never had a file. So what you have to do is to create a file with the credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. What you do next is you go to online bank, go to Capital One, and apply online. Now, whether you get uh, denied or accepted, it doesn't matter. What will happen is that you're going to create a file with the credit bureaus. They're going to know who you are, where you're from, uh, your social, and your date of birth. Once they know that, Okay? Now, a lot of people that call me say, well, I got my buddies, I got my sister, I got my brother, I got my father, I got my mother, uh, I got my friends who have other credit cards, and I can get at it as an authorized user to their credit card. Okay, simple. Well, get added to those cards. But be very careful if you get added to an account that is more than 50% credit utilization. Now, what is credit utilization? Well, if you have a $1,000 card or your friends have a $1,000 card and they owe 50% of that, which is 500 bucks, you really shouldn't get added to that account. I usually tell my clients, get added to accounts that are 10% uh, of the limit, okay? So if it's $1,000 and they owe 100 or nothing, that's a good account to be on, especially if it's an account that's six months or older. I prefer that you get added to an account that's two years or 24 months or older because that's really a solid credit uh, score that you will get. Once you get added as an authorized user to your, 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 your friend's credit card, it's going to generate a score until your credit spot. You're going to be from 685 go to 725 for score. A lot of times a little higher, but just to be on the safe side, you're going to be at 680 to 720. Then from there, you could go and start rebuilding your credit. Once you have that, then you have a score. Then you could go and start applying for credit. Credit cards, gas cards. You could go get, get a jewelry uh, account uh, so that you'll have something that is yours. Because right now, you build your credit off someone else's credit. You understand what I mean? So if you use their information on, their, uh, on your friend's credit report, uh, was transferred to your credit report, therefore building a score for you. But it's not yours. So what you're doing essentially is getting at it as an authorized user, getting a score, and then going out and applying, okay, and then you get your own things that you're paying on for your for um for your credit. It's, you know, you're gonna be a primary borrower then. Okay guys, this is just a simple tip. You're gonna be at a seven uh six eighty to seven twenty, then you can start applying for cards. The best way I tell you to rebuild your credit is secured money. So go to a bank your local bank and apply for a secured credit card, 300, 500. That's going to post on your credit report as well. And remember, if you're going to go buy a car, a, v, um, uh, a car, a house, or any type of loan, you need to have three accounts, two accounts that are 12 months or older, and one account that's 24 months or older. Okay, guys, remember, that account needs to be $1,000 or more. Again, you can call Gizzy at 973-440-8661. Uh, for more information about what I can do to your credit request. Okay? Nice to meet you. Uh, take care. Um, black and yellow day. Remember, financial chemotherapy is here uh, to give therapy to uh, everyone, not just uh, people who are blue collar, uh, white collar, everybody. We love everybody. Okay? Take care. Bye bye.